Hello everyone and I welcome you all in this learning video. Till now you have seen what is uh, random variables and the two types of random variables that is one is the discrete random variable and other one is the continuous random variable. And on the basis of discrete random variable and the continuous random variable we have seen the distribution function or the probability distribution for the continuous uh, random variable and the discrete random variable. But now onwards, we'll be concentrating on joint distribution. Okay, so whenever we are talking about the joint distribution, so we need at least two random variables to for the joint distribution. Okay, so under this topic of joint distribution, we'll be having two subtopic. One is joint distribution for discrete random variable and joint distribution for continuous random variable. So we are going to uh, learn this topic as uh, discrete random variable, joint distribution for discrete random variable first, followed by some, some definitions and examples. And then we'll see what is the joint distribution for continuous random variable and uh, its definition under that and the examples, okay? So for the time being, so concentrate on this uh, joint distribution for discrete random variable. So the very first definition that we already seen in the earlier classes also, uh, the very first definition is of the probability function, right? Now that is just the probability function, but why? But because we have here more than one random variable, so it would be now joint probability function or or you can say joint probability distribution of discrete random variable. So suppose we have two random variables x and y, then the function x, y, which is nothing which represents a probability of x equal to x and y equal to y, is called joint distribution function if, if f of x, y is greater than or equal to zero and the sum on x and y of f of x, y will gives you 1, okay? So sum of the probabilities of x and y is 1 and probability f, f being probability, it should be greater than or equal to 0, okay? Now the second thing, this definition we have seen for discrete random variable, but there was only one random variable, now it is just 2, okay? That is the only difference. Now this is new to you the probability marginal probability function so the marginal probability function will be for two variables that we have one is x and one is y so we have to find out the marginal probability function of random variable x and it can be found out by finding out uh, it would be denoted by f1 of xi and it is given by probability of x equal to xi summation j is equal to 1 to n f of x i y j where i is equal to 1 to n. In other words, what we can say that the marginal probability function of random variable x can be obtained by adding, by adding all the entries corresponding to x i, okay, for that particular x is equal to x i. Uh, it, uh, the definition will be more clear when we take the joint distribution table, okay, or joint probability table to be precise. Likewise, you can find out the marginal probability function for like the random variable x, you can find out for the random variable y. Okay, the very important thing is in this, uh, in this topic is the probability distribution table. And that is what we are going to see now. So for that, we need to rub this definitions. Okay, so next is join probability table. Joint probability Table. Okay, so as it is a table, so we'll be having some values over here. Okay, so how many random variables we have? We have, sorry, 
two random variables okay so say it is to be like this so here are the values of y so what are the values of y so general values 1 y1 y2 y3 and so on y y n okay and here would be some values of x which is say x1 then say x2 and so on x n x n sorry okay so we have taken two random variables x and y substituting these values of x and y okay now for x1 and y1 we will be having the joint probability f of x1 y1 okay f1 f of x1 y1 for this x1 y2 so this probability joint probability would be x1 y2 and so on the last one will be joint probability x1 y n okay likewise for the for this x2 y1 the probability would be joint probability would be x2 y1 then x2 y2 and then joint probability x2 y n and likewise the last one is f of x m y 1 that is f of x m y 2 and so on that is f of x n y n okay now we have all these values okay now make the total of this now make the total of this so the total of this would be what is the total of this For joint probability f of x1 y1 f of x1 y2 and f of x n y1 y n so what would be the joint probability will denote this joint probability by f of f1 of x1 will denote for this f2 of x2 sorry f1 of x2 and then f1 of x m okay likewise you can find out likewise you can find out the joint probability for the joint probability for what is the joint probability uh, let me rub this joint probability for y1 it would be f2 of y1 yes and then we have f2 of y2 and so on f2 of y n okay Uh, where it is? Okay, now see here. Now, this is nothing, nothing but the joint probability table. Very easy to draw this joint probability table. Now, the very important thing just we have seen the marginal, what we have seen the marginal probability function of x and y. Okay, so what is marginal probability function of x and y? This. This is, this is nothing but marginal probability function of x and, sorry, this is for x and this, these are nothing but the marginal probability marginal probability of random variable y okay this table is very important you can uh, you should understand this table how to write it 
in the one row you can write the uh, y1 by 2 y1 uh, y1 by 2 y and here it is x1 x2 xn and then for these corresponding values you have to write down the probability okay and for x1 y2 like this you have to make this table where all these are the marginal probability function for x1 x2 xn okay and these are the marginal probability for f2 y1 f2 y2 and f2 y and this is and this is nothing but the grand total okay sum of this and sum of this this is nothing but the grand total in some of the cases you will get the same grand total okay and this grand total is very handy in finding out the constant involving in the problem okay so i hope this uh, is clear to you now one remark i would like to make here it is that the probability marginal probability function of x is equal to x1 can be found out by adding all the values by adding all the entries corresponding to x1 likewise the marginal probability function of x is equal to x2 can be found by adding all the entries corresponding to x2 likewise you can find out the marginal probability function for y equal to y2 okay y equal to y1 y equal to y2 and so on and one more thing to remarks are sum of all the marginal probability function of x equal to xi where i varying from 1 to m is 1 these are the remark i am making summation i is equal to 1 to m uh, marginal probability function uh, which is uh, f1 of xi is equal to 1 okay likewise for j and, and for y okay so this is nothing but the uh, probability joint probability table this is very easy this is, we are writing it like uh, the we are writing it as uh, for the general case that's why you may be finding it difficult but uh, let us see the next definition but when we solve the problem you will find that the drawing the joint probability table is not a tedious task okay so now we have another definition which is of joint distribution function joint distribution function so what is joint distribution function the joint distribution function is defined as it is it is defined as f of x is equal to what is it f of x is equal to oh, because it is joint so i need to define it like f of x y is equal to what is it probability of x less than equal to x y less than equal to y and sometimes this can also be written as probability of probability of minus infinity less than equal to x less than equal to x and minus infinity less than equal to y less than equal to y okay this can also be defined like the double sum or u less than equal to x double sum or b less than equal to y of f of of f of u v so this is how we can define the distribution function okay in other word what we can say in other word what we can say this distribution function f of x y is the sum of is the sum of all the entries sum of all the entries corresponding for x and y so this is nothing but the definition of joint distribution function and uh, uh, joint sum of all the entries for x 
less than equal to x i and y less than equal to y j. Okay, so this is how we can define the joint distribution function. Okay, and y j less than equal to y. Right. Now the very last definition is of independent variable. So let us see that definition. independent variables so how many variables we have in this we have two different uh, variables random variables x and y here in this case uh, discrete random variables so these two random variables are said to be independent random variable if the joint probability is equal to the product of marginal probability function of x and marginal probability function of y meaning thereby meaning thereby if you if i if you want i can write if the joint if the joint probability if the joint probability is equal to the product of is equal to the product of marginal marginal probability functions marginal probability functions of of x and y then we say that then we say that x and y are independent variable independent variables otherwise we say that x and y are dependent variable and what does it mean this means that probability of x is equal to x y is equal to y is same as probability of x is equal to x into probability of y is equal to y Okay, well, what is this? These are the marginal probability function for x and y. Okay, if you want, you can write it more precisely like if the joint probability function is same as the product of marginal probability function of x, which we denote by f on x, and the marginal probability function of y. If it is so, then the random variable x and y are said to be independent random variable otherwise they are called dependent random variable so this is what we have in this learning video just the definition so i want you all to go through it properly in order to solve the problems properly so thank you for watching this learning video good day